change in the third chapter. See, there are always a prayer and prayer and ministry on dedicated. Someone who would take one assignment and do it, and you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to call and see if they do it. You don't have to come and run. I just have to come in. And see, I thank God now for where we are. I just have to check the bathroom. I check walk everything too. Well, I don't have to do all that now, so I know he's already working set things up. I'm saying you want to try everything. I'm saying the mic ready and everything because, you know, people would do the thing, but they wouldn't do it the way you desire to be done in excellence. Amen. And so that's why I, I'm not, you know, y'all might think I'm not moved by the people that we had left, even though that's some who's just not here today. But I'm not moved by that because I pray, God, we want to operate ministry the way that you Amen. desire ministry. And we went to a church, me and my wife, and the pastor said with how they operated and I'm going to give it to the neutral, the purpose-driven ministry uh -huh. and what it took to really get them where they are. Amen. They have over 600 people coming on Sunday. I mean, over 2,000 people come on the weekend with 600 members. Uh -huh. Because he says, you're not going to work and serve. We want you to just visit us. Amen. He said, we don't just want bodies to look at. Amen. He said, I've been to church like that. He said, you're a pastor of a church. I ain't going there no more. Amen. I'm just going to wait on God. Amen. Amen. So I just want to tell y'all, I'm just going to wait on you. Amen. <laughs> All right. But in Ephesians, then, or the third chapter, there's a word from the Lord. I want y'all to remember on Wednesday, John Revere is doing an awesome job. Amen. 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 Awesome teaching. I want to use for a subject, it's a little long, but we're kind of downsize it or reduce it. There is a great in God's glory for your inner strength. I want you to hear me. There is a great. Y'all know the great, right? Uh -huh. A great. Now, great, great, you just don't get a great by not doing nothing. Many people don't get great because they don't want to feel like the paperwork. Amen. 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 I know it. It was just really yeah, but uh -huh. sometimes you fill out all the paperwork and let them into your business you'll get the grant that you desire. Mm -hmm. And sometimes if it's a government grant, you don't want it because they're going to they, they hold you accountable for some things you don't want to do. Amen. Mm -hmm. They say, we're going to come and visit you every three months. Mm -hmm. We're going to come down and we got to give you a card and see how you spent that money. Make sure you ain't bought shading them, no shoes and stuff like that. This mm -hmm. money's supposed to be used for something else, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, mm -hmm. we don't mm -hmm. But God has a grant for you, but it's through his glory. And the book of Ephesians talks about God's glory when we are sure that it's about God and about the glory. Because it's easy to say Amen. I'm going to be nice, God. Uh, but anyhow. But, but, but in Ephesians, the third chapter, let me read for you a little bit first, and then we'll look. And I'm going to read first from the King James. I'm going to start in, in verse 8. And it says, Unto me, who am the least, let, and the least of all the saints, is this grace given, that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. Y'all say that with me, unsearchable. Unsearchable. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world has been hid in God. Amen. Who created all things by Jesus Christ Amen. to the intent that now unto principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church, that's us, y'all, the manifold wisdom of God Amen. according to his eternal purpose, which he purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness. I don't see boldness sometimes in the morning. Amen. And access with confidence by faith of him. Wherefore I desire that you faint not at my tribulation for you, which is your glory. Oh, yeah. For this cause, notice now, for this cause I bow my knee unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. May we bow our heads. Lord, Lord, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For this morning, Lord. 
We thank you, Lord, that you've ridded the hearts and the ears and the mind, Lord God, and the emotions of your people, Lord, to receive your word, that they might grow strong in the Lord and the power of his life. Oh, yeah. We thank you, Lord God, that Christianity is not, Lord, so much about the outside, Lord, as it is about the inside of our heart, mind, and soul, that we will be strong, Lord, and stand with you, Lord, in the midst of adverse situations and circumstances. We will be strong. We will have love, Lord God, when we should be fighting. Oh, yeah. We will have peace, Lord God, when we should be in chaos. Lord, we are turning problems to praise, Lord, and worry to worship, Lord God. Oh, yeah. Because we, we, we wait on you, Lord. We wait on everybody else, Lord, but now, Lord God, we wait on you. You said they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Yeah. Lord, they'll be like eagle wings, Lord. They'll mount up and fly, Lord. They'll run and not faith. Oh, yeah. So, Lord, we won't grow weary and well do. We won't cave in and quit. Because we walk not, Lord, by sight, oh, yes. but we walk by the word, yes, Lord. which produces the faith that we can walk on the water. Right, In Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 Do you know you can walk on your trouble walk? Oh, my, 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 my. Amen. Notice now, in verse 14, I'm going to give you a little outline, we see a prayer. For realization. Mm -hmm. He says, for this cause I bow my knee unto the Lord, the Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, right? Mm -hmm. The reason he says, I'm praying and talking to God because he said, there are unsearchable things that God has done, but they are hidden in God. But let me say something good. When something is hidden in God, a mystery in, in the Bible, not a mystery that, ooh, you can't find out. The mystery is in the Word of God. You've got to go in and get the revelation so you can take the wisdom of God and do the walk of God and do the will of God based on the Word of God. Now, that, was, that was something that happened a long time ago, and I, I, I know you know sometimes it's not favorable, but, 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 but one time people said, if you really want to hide something from people of color, put it in a book. Amen. I'm going to let that soak for a minute. That's all right. But watch this now. We can't live by that because God has put it in the book. Amen. All right. Amen. If you get what God got in the book for you, oh man, it'll carry you through. So, so the prayer here is for realization. Now, 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 now he goes with the name of all of them. But let's look at verse 16. Watch this. The glory grant for your edification. Watch this. That he would grant you. Now notice, he is praying that God would grant you. Watch this. According to the riches of his glory. Mm -hmm. Now God gives you a grant. It's not going to be a little measly grant. If it was money and you got a grant from God, it would be $35. Huh? No. 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 He's the God of more than enough. So, so if you need a grant for 50000 God might grant you 75000 or more. I'm talking about a grant for, according to his riches. Now, not according because we look at things from an earth perspective, oh, yeah. but we got to look at things from a heaven perspective. Oh, yeah. You know, the one thing I was studying and I had to look at, you know, God is into a simulcasting. Y'all know, know that he's not going to catch you. Know, you've seen the screen where you have two people, you know, you have one screen here and your half of it split. You know, sign for you got two of them. See, he said, he said, as it is in heaven, so let it be in earth. Oh, you, you don't hear me. That's all right. You see, the power of heaven is ready to invade the earth. God is in the sound but he's looking for someone who will show himself in. Can he shine his projector through you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Bible said, I am the Lord looking for someone who will show himself faithful. People, let me tell you something. And I'm going to be honest now. Don't y'all be mad with me. Y'all going to be mad with me. Uh, I have yet to see over five or six people who are faithful and diligent in serving God. Uh, 